What's up guys? MamboMikeWellness.com Today I'm going to show you a very simple recipe for vegan chocolate ice cream. So the ingredients you're going to need are one large avocado, two cans of cream of coconut. I use Coco Lopez, which is the uh, local brand here. You can also use Goya. And it's a sweetened, pre-sweetened, so it's got sugar already added in here. So you don't need to add additional sugar. You need one cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. You can also use raw cacao. And two cups of water. And also about a quarter to a fifth teaspoon of sea salt or Himalayan salt. All right, so I already have two cups of water in the blender. You're going to need a blender and also a freezer safe storage container to freeze your ice cream. So I've got my two cans of sweetened cream of coconut, which I'm going to add to the water in the blender. So once you cut your liquid in here, which is the which is the cream of coconut and the water, you can go ahead and add the cocoa powder. And add one cup of this powder. I'm using a one third scoop or so I'm going to add three scoops of this Put it on slow so I don't have everything splash around too much. Got my salt right here, sea salt, and I don't really measure precise. You could add a little more or less to your taste, but that's about how much I put. Put in there. And now I'm gonna take the avocado. I'm gonna scoop it out and add that into the blender.
Okay. So now I'm blend that. Avocado last. Freezer container and just pour it in. And that's it. And you just you don't really have to mix it if you don't want to. I like to mix it a little bit once I leave it in the freezer for about four or five hours and it'll take about a day to get hard enough to become ice cream all right so there you have it all right folks it's been about two hours i'm just going to give it a quick little mix here it just helps to speed up the uh the freezing process and keeps it from being uneven but really if you didn't mix it it'd probably still work out alright so it's a little bit more frozen on the edges than in the middle as you can see it's still very soft and you can wait a few more hours before you mix it it'll still be soft and that's it and we'll check on on it in a few more hours or so all right, it's been in the freezer about seven hours. And you can see I, I left a bit of a donut shape in the middle because the middle part is the part that usually uh, takes the longest to freeze. So you can still see it's a little soft. It's edible if you like it soft, but I like it a little bit more firm. So you can simply just mix it some more or you can leave it as, as it is and just let it freeze alright so we'll check in on the end uh, once we leave it overnight so I'm back so it's been about 22 hours since I put the ice cream in the fridge and that's what it looks like I'm gonna scoop it out for you so you can see it's kinda of firm but it's uh, it's doable with a spoon. So we take a look right here. It scoops pretty close to the texture of a regular ice cream, and there you have it. Delicious, dairy-free, cruelty-free, animal-free, vegan ice cream. I'll leave some details below for, for the recipe. And sorry about the video quality, my kitchen is pretty dark. All right, thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe and share. Thanks for watching.